Hi everyone, this is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella. This is the weekly education slot that goes into the social media club. It's just a little extra that we do uh, on part of the club, as well as another video uh, we do on what's hot and what's not in the world of social media, just keeping you afloat of everything. So education slot this week is all on always on LinkedIn. Some of the things that everyone's been talking about is like, you know, I just need a structure, Julia. What do I do on LinkedIn every day? A bit of a checklist. So that's what I'm going to go through today. Okay, so we're going to start off with number one is just to share an update okay but what do I mean by an update usually it's a link or something that you're doing and you're just sharing an update just here um, there are various different places that you can get an idea of things to share the first place is actually from within LinkedIn and it's within this area called pulse so if you click on pulse um, you can categorize your pulse <laughs> that sounds a bit weird doesn't it but you can click discover and you can categorize your pulse and then you can just choose from one of the um, one of the articles there so just share one thing um, if nothing there tickles your fancy um, whiz on to something called buzzsumo uh, if you go on to buzzsumo and put in your topic so I might put I don't know content marketing and just click go and that will give me the top things are t um, that are trending if I go over here where it says LinkedIn shares I want the thing that's most important on LinkedIn so the articles are within the last I don't know how many um, days it is I think it's within the last 24 24 days these are things that are really trending on LinkedIn so this is the most popular article Okay, so look at the eyeballs it's had on that particular article. So I want to share that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that URL, copy it, and paste it into a status update. One of the biggest tips I can give you, once that's pulled that in, the next thing you want to do is just delete that URL because it is really ugly. Ugly. Um, I just put something like, check out this awesome article ways to make your content shine exclamation mark okay so step number one is to share a status update done and there's some good tips on where to get some awesome content from okay number two is connections we call it the your day area LinkedIn originally called it your day so that's what we've always called it but it's over here in connections I actually don't do this particular part on LinkedIn. It's usually a morning thing that I do straight away on my app. There's a LinkedIn app called Connected. So if you just search on the on the uh, App Store, I assume it's for Android as well as iPhone. So search for Connected, not Connections. It's Connected by LinkedIn. It's a LinkedIn app. The icon looks a little bit like this, just over here. And in there, um, it will tell you whose birthday it is, who's, if you've got any reminders that you've sent out to yourself, um, whose work anniversary it is, all that sort of good juicy stuff. It's just, great, just a way to touch with your um, connections on a daily basis. That's part of your fibre day, is to get involved with your day section. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is the company news feed. So next thing you want to do is click interests, come down to companies, Okay, and here are all the um, companies that you followed. There is a limit, by the way. You can only follow 50 companies. LinkedIn have this magic number of 50. You know, you can only send 50 emails at one time. You can only follow 50 groups, uh, and you can only follow 50 companies. So um, it's really important to have a look and see where your um, your customers are, your target market are, and start commenting and liking and sharing. So. Yeah, Fiona Brunton's for a big, she's one of our clients, so I really want to say, knocking on the door, so I can just say, good article or whatever, or well, that's true, and then comment, like, and share. So, number three was to comment on the company newsfeed. Get your name out to those companies. They'll get a little red notification just up here um, to say that you've commented on the, uh, on the newsfeed. So, why wouldn't you want to be ahead of the game and get your presence out there on the company newsfeed? So that's number three. Number four is something everyone should be doing every day and you should really have a look at some groups. You can go up to 50 groups, but I just think that's crazy. 
I'm actually only in four groups, but what I want to do is make sure that I'm top contributor to at least two of these groups. You can see some of the groups I'm in there. A group, you really should just be putting a discussion point. No selling. That's a big no-no. Don't do that in groups. You want people to discuss stuff in there. So if you're struggling with things to think of, oh no, what on earth am I going to put in a group discussion, then I'll show you a quick tip. If you go on to Quora, uh, let's go under here. Uh, if I sign in with Facebook, keep getting to do this. I don't know if you've used Quora before, but um, there you go. It gives you lots of different questions. So you can just put your topic in. So if I go again, the content marketing. Okay, uh, and it gives you loads of questions about that particular topic. Um, and that's what you should be posting in LinkedIn is topic questions because at the end of the day, you just want people to talk uh, and get your name up there. So your name appears as top contributor. And the more people talk on a discussion on LinkedIn, the more you're likely to become top contributor. So this is a really good source. Have a look at Quora and get some ideas for your company, so for your LinkedIn groups on LinkedIn. So that's number four. Number five is just the basic stuff. You want to click home. Spend a couple of minutes going down your newsfeed, commenting, liking, sharing on your network. You get people that just post in salesy stuff all the time. Just click over here and give them a good old hide. Okay, you're still friends with them. They don't know that you've hidden their stuff. Um, but comment, like and share is number five. So that's the top five things. So just to recap, one is to share an update. Get some information from Pulse or from BuzzSumo. The second one is connections, have a look on your day or even download the app, that works better, it synchronises with your with your calendar. Number three is company newsfeed, so click on interests, company newsfeed and go down there. Number four is to post a discussion on the discussions and no, no more than five groups, you really don't want to be spending that much time in loads and loads of different groups. And number five is just click home comment, like and share on the news feed just to touch base. You can do all that within half an hour. So spending half an hour on LinkedIn every day, sticking to that schedule will really make a difference on your um, on your LinkedIn presence. Okay, so come back for some more hints and tips next time round. Hope that helps and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.